Hello, and welcome to my first video on this channel. My name is Edgar, and I am a sophomore at Stanford University studying computer science and economics. Today, I am beginning the production of a series that is meant to help all students learn about the colleges and universities from all over the country. Although I will be interviewing my friend from high school, Aaron, I would like to invite anyone who is watching this and who is willing to share their own personal experiences at their respective institution to reach out in order to participate in the series. So without further ado, let's welcome Aaron. Aaron, thank you for joining us today. Happy to be here. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm Aaron Peprocki. I'm a second and a half year student at Illinois Institute of Technology, majoring in computer science. So when students are deciding which college or university they want to attend, there are a number of factors they consider, such as cost of attendance, location of the school, the facilities or career services available to them on campus, etc. How did you decide to attend IIT? My train of thought for thinking about where I wanted to go, if you're going to go for a tech school or something like that, you don't need to pay all the big money to go out of state somewhere, especially with like room and board, then you're starting to rack up a lot of money because there's tons of tons of good schools in Illinois, whether it be UIC, U of I, Urbana even, or, or University of Chicago. So I started looking downtown. The first place I went to was DePaul and their campus was kind of like just a cluster of buildings. So it's kind of like as if you were just like walking from like an office building to an office building. There's no like campus atmosphere to it. I went to IIT second. It's not like a campus like you would see in maybe mm -hmm. Urbana, but it's definitely more so of a campus experience where you've got your, your separate buildings. If you know the layout of downtown, it's on State Street from 35th to 31st, like a couple of blocks. All the buildings are in that one spot. You, you get a good walk in from the classes, but it's not like you're walking across downtown trying to get to, to your class. And I was like, this is a, is a, is a nice place and it's, got a good education there too so and my mm -hmm. dad went there and then i went to uic and then it's like well this is a lot of walking and the buildings are kind of just like all over the place that definitely makes sense now i'm going to ask you a little bit about academics when it comes to picking classes how accessible are the advisors at iit advisors are definitely very easily accessible like you just send them an email and they'll get back mm -hmm. to you uh very quickly as long as you're not emailing them at midnight obviously mm -hmm. they, know a lot of the course catalog and stuff like that and they're very well equipped to help you kind of pick out the courses that they think would be best fit for you. It's great that these advisors are accessible because they play a key role in helping students feel connected, understand their purpose, and create appropriate goals for themselves. Now I know you're a computer science major. Besides computer science, what are some of the most popular majors at your school? If I had to, to rank them it'd probably be computer science, computer engineering, um, maybe architecture, electrical engineering, and then you get the, all the other engineering, like uh, biomed and mm -hmm. mechanical and, and all the and architectural engineering. You're not going to find many stuff outside of like engineering and computer science. Yeah, that's kind of what I had in mind, given that IIT is a tech school. In terms of classes you have taken, would you happen to have a favorite one? Was it in the field of computer science or something else? So I, I really enjoy programming, but my favorite class might have been either a uh, video game history or introduction to psychology because I, I find psychology kind of interesting. The CS classes, I've had one that's strictly programming. We call it CS 116, which is like the second semester of com AP Computer Science A. So it's like finishing up uh, Java programming and the other stuff's kind of been like using data structures. I had another class for programming, which was programming in Haskell, which is a uh, functional programming, which is different than imperative. Obviously, since I'm interested in, interested in computer science, those ones are, are kind of at the forefront of the most I've got to take. So the ones that are kind of more interesting, it's like, oh, this one that's not usually my schedule is like the psychology or the, like the video game history. It's kind of like mm -hmm. those, those ones you throw in there. Those are the electives. It's like, oh, this is actually kind of interesting where it's not just computer science. On that note of classes, I know students who choose classes um, based on the professors. How are the professors at IIT and how are their office hours? Most of them are pretty good. I think the math department is the one that has uh, the, the, the most fishiest uh, professors. One of my one of my best professors I've had on campus is a, is a is a math professor, but they've also got some of some of the worst ones too. If you randomly pick a class with a random professor, you run a good chance. The, they're definitely going to be knowledgeable on, on the field they're teaching, no matter or that, that's the thing they can guarantee. But the, their teaching style might not be exactly what you're looking for. So I'd say you stand a good chance of finding a, a good professor more often than not. 
uh, office hours. I think most of them have it at, at least more than once a week. They always say you can you can always reach out to them if you got a question, so email them or et cetera, and they'll get back to you pretty quickly or with, within reason, obviously. Awesome. On to our last question about academics. How often do you find yourself studying outside of class? That's a tricky question because from personal experience, you might say this is a flex, but I've never been much of a studier. When I go to the lectures, if I'm listening intently, I kind of absorb it pretty well, so I don't do much studying outside of class, but you will get a good amount of work. If you space out your work correctly, you're maybe doing an hour to be at max of, of like homework slash kind of studying or reviewing each day. Well, that is definitely a flex. But anyways, let's talk about your time on campus. Do you have a favorite place at IIT? In between classes, it varies from like 15 minutes to an hour. We have what we call MTCC. It stands for McCormick Tribute Campus Center. The way the MTCC works, so it used to be a parking lot and the architect would watch people, the, the paths they would take through the parking lot to get to the different classes. And he'd mark down those lines. He built those hallways into MTCC. So it's got a bunch of really weird hallways, but they're very efficient for going from the building to building. And so I'll kind of sit in, in one of the areas that go by the dorms and by the food court, and then I can get some work done, but then I can, if I see people I know, I might, might be able to flag it down, have a conversation for a little better. It must definitely be nice to see people you know uh, and get to talk to them between classes. On that topic, uh, how would you describe um, the people at IIT? I'd say a lot of them are kind of uh, introverted. They'll keep to themselves, but if you get a class with someone and, and you've had a couple of classes with them, you, you'll be able to strike up a conversation. Most people will be able to talk. A lot of people come from a lot of uh, from a lot of different countries come to IIT. It's kind of a, like a melting pot, so you might find people who don't speak very, very strong English. That's actually very interesting. I was not very aware that there were many international students at IIT. Now, I'm not sure if this next question is actually related to campus life, but how's the food? Greatly varies. Uh, <laughs> there's an area where you, you can pay for food, which we call the commons. That food most of the time is pretty good. Like you can get uh, sushi or uh, Middle Eastern food. They had a sandwich place that was really good there. They had a uh, Caprice uh, sandwich there, which is uh, fresh mozzarella, uh, pesto and tomato with the balsamic vinaigrette on top. That was good. And then they also had a uh, buffalo chicken sandwich. That was really good. Now they got chicken that's mediocre. Uh, <laughs> the food isn't amazing, but at least in the commons, it's kind of like buffet style. So you grab whatever you want and you can eat however much you want. And if you have a, a specific meal plan on campus, you can uh, you can get uh, you get three scans a day to, to scan it and eat there. And they you get guest passes. So some people scan me in sometimes. If you play your cards right, you can eat good, uh, nutritious food there. Well, that's good to know. I just have one question about career services before we move on to the final two questions. Are you able to find summer jobs and access different work opportunities through IIT? Yeah, so we have an organization called the Handshake mm -hmm. that, that we use. And so that's really helpful for finding jobs. So since uh, I'm looking into maybe going into something in video games, and I got a notification from Handshake with, oh, Epic Games just posted a summer job listing to say, we're looking for this, working with, the, with this programming language. And I know what I kind of need to look for for that. And we have uh, career fairs, I think, uh, once a semester, so you fall in spring career fair, where uh, companies will come in and you get dressed up, and the school will have like people to take pictures of you to get like uh, like profile pictures for like your email or something like that to come to look more professional. There'll be like seminars like how to work in uh, interviews and how to kind of put your best foot forward or how to work on your resume and refine it. And then we also have a uh, a career area where you go in and you can like sit down and they'll help you kind of like talk out okay what kind of career you might be interested in based off your major and your interests. Great. I just think that this is a very important aspect that is sometimes overlooked. Just two more questions. Overall, from previous conversations that I've had with you, it seems like you really like your school. Is there something that you would change about your school if you had the opportunity to? Uh, more stuff to do there. The, the, there's what we call the MTCC or the campus kind of center. And there's like pool tables and ping pong tables. There's that, and then what we call the bog, where they've got like some Xboxes and Playstations and like a bowling alley. And that's the extent of what there is to do on campus. I guess you can find stuff to do in the city, but as a commuter, uh, since I'm kind of going back and forth there, I've got like maybe an hour in between classes, or like at the most, I think I had two hours in between classes last year. 
but it's like with that time you're not going to be exploring downtown or whatever you're just you're going to go to this recreational area on campus so i wish there was kind of more more areas to kind of just chill on campus since we don't really have any sports teams mm -hmm. there's there's not much to have a school, a school spirit about <laughs> we do have sports teams but it's not like we got like a football team or like a marching band it's very kind of class centric i'd say because you're focusing on your classes you got your friend groups so yeah <laughs> there's not there's not too too much school spirit. Now I just have one more question for you. That you've begun your sophomore year uh, at IIT. Would you say that you are happy there? Are you satisfied with your decision to attend? Yeah, I'd say so. Something that's kind of appealing about IIT is because it's a STEM school. A lot of the people who are there are kind of more introverted, so you don't have to worry about like uh, going to parties or something like that. It's like you pretty much do your classes, or if you you get your group of friends, you'll you'll hang out with them before or after your classes. You get the, the kind of friend groups I like where it's like a, a smaller group of people, but you get to know them really well instead of having like 50 friends you're mm -hmm. trying to know and you're like acquaintances. So yeah, I, I'm happy with where, where I'm at. And that is all. Thank you very much for uh, letting me interview you.